Here we are with uh, Dave uh, Gilbert and uh, he is from Praetorian Technologies. Uh, so, uh, so how was your experience being here at TechShare, first of all? I want to know that. Well, this is the first time we've been in India, so it was all a little bit of an experiment, but actually it's been very good. Uh, although there are lots of people here with visual impairments and, and, and actually our products are for people with, uh, with motor skills difficulties, even so, we've had some very good leads. Uh, so, uh, I mean, uh, tell us a little bit about the technology you actually have here. Okay, so we make products for people with motor skills, difficulties with physical handicaps. So if they have any difficulty in using a mouse or a keyboard uh, so that they can access the computer, or if they can't use a touch screen on their phone or on a tablet, then we will provide an alternative method for them to access the technology. Yeah. Okay, so uh, I uh, would want you to tell us a little bit uh, you know uh, give us a few examples of that okay. so that we can you know learn a bit about it okay. yeah shall, shall we start with the mice yeah these are all replacements for a mouse so if somebody has difficulty in using a mouse because they can't grip it or because they haven't got enough movement to be able to move the mouse then they would consider one of these instead uh, they, they fall into two categories we have track balls where you spin the ball to move the cursor and uh, also joysticks where you move the stick and the cursor moves in whatever direction you point the stick. Okay? Where, where we sell joysticks, we sell three different knobs. We have the standard one which we call the acorn, we have uh, a T-bar handle and we also have a sponge ball. And the sponge ball fits onto the shaft and this is for people who uh, perhaps can't grip so this would be uh, not, not so easy for them. Uh, instead, they, what they will do is operate it with their, with their wrist or their arm, elbow, even perhaps with their head. Okay? Now, we have lots of different sizes of products and lots, with lots of all sorts of different features. And the product that you choose would depend on which particular disabilities that person has. Okay? One of the things we build into them all is a thing called drag lock, which is like pressing and holding the left click, uh, because pressing and holding is, is quite difficult for people yeah. with, uh, with physical disabil disabilities. So we provide a button that does it for you. Just hit the button, and that's like keeping your, hand, your foot finger down on the left click, and you can then move the cursor to wherever it needs to be, click again, and it cancels. Okay. Also, double clicking can be quite difficult for some, because a lot of people can't do the second clip, click in time before the computer has forgotten the first click. Yeah. So we, again, we do it for you in, in one button. So all you have to do is just hit the button once and it will double click for you, okay? Uh, we, we also have this product here, which is for um, older children and adults. What we found was with this product, because it has brightly colored buttons, that when the children get to 14, perhaps 15, they start to reject things that are brightly colored because they look like they're for children. So instead, we did this unit, which is much more adult looking. Um, and not only is it for older children, but also uh, the elderly. Um, because there are lots of elderly people now who want to gain access to the internet, but perhaps have um, something like Parkinson's disease, so they have some kind of tremor. Um, and this has this particular unit has an anti-tremor feature, okay? And then we come on to some really specialized equipment. We, we make lots of different uh, cursor pointing uh, devices, but this is probably the most specialized we do. This one is for people with cerebral palsy or um, muscular dystrophy, that kind of disorder. And um, it requires a tiny amount of movement because people with those conditions have no strength in their muscles and so moving any distance is very difficult. But with this one, if you put your finger on the white dot, the cursor doesn't move, but as soon as you move into the gray area, the cursor moves in whatever direction you point. Okay? So literally 10, 10 millimeters of movement is all that's required to get complete control of the cursor. 
Now, all of those switch, all of those trackballs and joysticks I've spoken about so far are wired devices, so they plug into the USB or the PS2 port. Over here, we have some that are wireless. Okay. Okay. Now, these are very popular in school situations. Okay. So this is a device to allow you to access an iPad if you ha don't have the motor skill to be able to use the touch screen. Okay, this is uh, used I mean, this is for the iPad, yes. right? Yes, specifically for iPad, yeah. Okay. So what we have here is a Bluetooth device okay. which, uh, into which you can plug um, one or more switches and those switches will give you access to everything in the iPad but without ever touching the screen. So if somebody is, um, is able to um, press a switch and maybe not with their hands but even with their head using... Um, if, if, if they're in a wheelchair and they mount the switch onto the headrest, then uh, you can, they can control everything on the iPad with one switch and they operate it with their heads, for example. Okay. So really you can do absolutely everything uh, that's possible with an iPad. So you can browse the internet, you can send emails, you can go on Facebook, anything at all. Okay. And the way you do it is really very, very straightforward. Um, you see around here we have a, a blue box on, yes. on, on the second line. Yeah. If I press the yellow switch, you'll see I go from line to line. Okay. So that's called scanning. Okay. Okay. When I get to the line that I want to be on, I press the red switch. So that's selecting. Okay. Once I've selected the line, then I can scan onto that line. Okay. And when I get to the app that I want, in this case the camera, yeah. then select again and it opens the app and now so I've, I've opened the camera there's the there's the camera yeah. and also I can scan within the app and this is the really important thing is it's not just about navigating to the app and opening it you can actually use the app as well so really everything you need to do you can do with these switches yeah. so if I want to take a picture then I scan to the shutter yeah. press the red switch and I'll take a picture Okay. Now, you can even type with it, because if you open something like Notes, yeah. then if, if, the, if the iPad knows that it needs to have something typed in, yeah. then uh, when the keyboard pops up, that is also scannable. Wow. So I can go from line to line on the keyboard using the yellow switch, and then uh, along the keyboard row using the red switch, and then I select that particular uh, key, and that's the letter that appears in the document. Okay. If people have difficulty in pressing these switches because they're over the top of the ball or perhaps because they're recessed, then what we also have here is some wireless switches that you could use instead. So this one is set to left click, that one's set to right click. So you would use those in place of the, of the internal ones.